Hey there guys, Eballin here of WHF Rising, bringing you guys another war attack strategy video. Uh, so this is a war that consists of 45 versus 45, WHF Rising versus Sentinchia event. And I'm using my very first attack on their number 4, Mr. Mallow. Mallow, Mallow, Mr. Mallow. Uh, so what I'm bringing you guys is a go ho attack with a healer. So I'm gonna change up my strategy here. Uh, hopefully it works. Um, experimented with this kind of strategy before to maximize troop space. And hopefully this will turn out to be another 3 star as well. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is not with a CC lure but with a wrong color but with a golem straight down this middle here so it uh, tanks onto these point defenses uh, I believe that cannon is within range um, let's see uh, yeah it is within range as long as I actually drop my golem at that angle here. Uh, so if I drop my golem in that angle, this cannon, that cannon, and this archer tower are uh, targeting that golem. I'll go ahead and drop a healer right behind it, sustain it. Uh, then I'll go ahead and drop a hog here to grab that CC lure. And once that hog dies, it would kind of be lured all the way to where this golem is. Uh, while that is happening, the lure in itself, I would drop a wizard here, a wizard here, and one minion here. Take out this uh, collector, collector, camp collector. Uh, now nothing's in the way, and now that funnel, I guess, funnel you could say, now directed that direction um, so once that I guess dragon if it is a dragon or whatever is in that uh, CC gets lured onto this corner uh, I would go ahead and drop a nice uh, I'll probably drop a set of wall breakers here with a nice rage spell that will encompass uh, both my healer and the wizards, the additional wizards, I'll drop to back up this golem. Uh, that should be more than enough to take out whatever's in that CC. Uh, if it is a dragon, the dragon will go down pretty quickly. If it's like archers or anything like that, I do have a poison spell. But I will, you know take it uh, uh, into consideration if I will use a poison spell on the defensive CC I rather use it on the ground skellies ground skeleton traps if there are any but that should take care of that CC troop there with all that wizards under rage and the healer onto that golem golem will do all the tanking will still be sustained because that healer is still under rage uh, so once that's taken care of, I'll go ahead and drop my king. So that way they could lure out this king into the compartment, take him out. Uh, while this uh, cannon is still uh, being distracted, I'll go ahead and do a one for one trade with a balloon to take that out. You know, a one for one trade is always valuable uh, um, in attacks. Just one point defense for one loon, or for five spaces, is you know, is more valuable than trying to commit a lot of hogs, two or three hogs, just to take it out, and then one or two hogs will die in the process. Uh, but none of that. Let's continue on with the strategy. Uh, I will go ahead and have a Pekka in my CC. Um, the Pekka will. 
go ahead and start bashing this wall. Probably assist it with some wall breakers. Uh, that P.E.K.K.A will, you know, soak up damage from all of these defenses here. I'll probably go ahead and drop one wizard just to help him out. Take out this uh, storage, army camp, and while that archer tower is distracted, um, that wizard will do a nice one for one trick with that archer tower. Uh, this P.E.K.K.A's main objective is just to take out these to take out this compartment right here that is all uh, if it gets further down it'll still continue to tank uh, it's just basically bringing two golems to create a nice wide funnel to take out as much of the base as i can but having this pekka allows me to take out as much defensive buildings as i can so that my hogs are free to roam the rest of the base as you can see his base design is very poorly laid out and I shall exploit that. Uh, I'll go ahead and start my surgical deployment at the 10 o'clock position of my hogs. So I'll drop down probably two hogs here. Or actually, take that back. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a giant down at this angle. And that giant's probably gonna lock onto this archer tower track all these point defenses here go ahead and deploy the sur uh, the surgical deployment of my hog so probably go a little heavy on this cannon probably three three on this archer three on that archer and probably one or two on this wizard tower so that way my hogs just doesn't backtrack and then move forward you know always inefficient by doing so uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop this uh, this um, giant right here, uh, either here or here, I believe if I drop it on this location here I get soak up damage from these three defenses. <coughs> Let me just double check that real quick. Uh, so yeah, perfect. So I do drop it in this at this angle. It will attract all three defenses here. I go ahead and just drop my hogs. One, two, three, four. Probably go heavy on that archer tower and go a little light on these uh, splash damage um, defenses here. And I do have a poison spell. Like I said, I may have to use it on the defensive CC or the situation I want it to be used in is right onto those skeleton traps. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I was going to drop a Rage uh, where my kill squad is, so I, that la leaves me with two uh, spell slots and I have, and I'm bringing, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to be bringing two heals. I go ahead, heal in this compartment, and once this archer tower is down, I'm probably going to heal in that compartment. And that should be more than enough to uh, sustain my hogs. I may be a little bit more patient with my first teal because <clears throat> these are the sacrificial hogs, whichever hogs may survive. I may want a little bit more of an overlap with the, this heal here just in case this is you know, a giant bomb of some sort or double teslas and the second heal will probably be right here after that archer tower goes down. <coughs> Excuse me. But hopefully this turns out to a 3 star, hopefully uh, we're matched up quite evenly so hopefully this will be another perfect war for WHF Rising and um, yeah, uh, it took us quite a while just to get matched up so I'm always excited about war. So let's hope for the best and let's get another 3 star attack right here boys and girls. But for now guys, clash on, good luck and have fun, and peace out.